Hello and welcome to another episode of my F122 driver career mode here today for part 46 for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. At the time of recording this we just had the actual Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Hopefully this will be a bit more interesting. Max Verstappen has put it on pole from Sergio Perez. Both had an awful qualifying down in 16. We're going to have to have another comeback drive for not the first time in this career mode. It's time for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix for the very first time since season 1. And it's lights out and away we go for once we've got a solid easy start. George is trying to find a way past the Aston Martin. He sends it to the inside. We have to work so hard to so get our front wing ripped off. And now we're still side by side with George just about going into turn two. Down the inside we go of George Russell. Up next though, looks to be the Aston Martin and the Ferrari and the Alpine. Can we find a way through there? Possibly, as we try and just end it round the outside of the Alpine, and we go sailing all the way round the outside. And it's job done there on Sonoda. Next up, though, is the Alpine of Fernando Alonso, our teammate when we were last here. Down the inside of Alonso, we've caught him mapping, and we're up another position there. We've got it. Good start here as we now head into the castle section and round the old town. So on to lap 3 now then we've been trying to get into Leclerc's DRS and we've finally done it now. Going into turn 3, we pull to the inside and we go ahead of Charles Leclerc. Good move there. Now next up is the McLaren of Pierre Gasly. So we're on the back of Gasly now, he's been held massively by Sir Lancelot and the Aston Martin as we do what we did to Leclerc, send it late to the inside and we catch out the Frenchman we now set our sights and our former teammate Lance Stroll, this hasn't ended well in the past Hopefully this time it can be clean and we've caught him out down the inside but somewhere you would never see an overtake We've got him now, and now whilst Gasly and Leclerc struggle to overtake the Aston, can we get away? But the answer to that is no. Look at the slipstream. Gasly gets to the inside of Stroll. And he's still trying to hold it around the outside, is Lance? He's still there. Is he going to be brave enough to go around there? Yes, he is. They're still side by side. I think the McLaren should have enough to take him past the, the Aston Martin here to the inside. It's still side by side, it's side by side since halfway down the pit straight. But in the end, Stroll has to back out of it. And now look at that, there's the Alpine of Alonso of Sonoda trying to get past Leclerc. And now we can really pull away from Gasly. And now here he comes, pulls to the outside. And absolutely blips his past his butt. That doesn't matter because it's lap 11. And it's our pit stop lap. Followed in by Charles Leclerc. And we're getting used to being first into the pits now. We're going to go into the hard tyres. That was a good turn in there, mate. That's earned us a decent pit stop time. And we've just beaten out Leclerc again, so we stay ahead. Of him. Now it's about getting these tyres up to temperature up to speed quickly now, get as we can. Can say our stone from going into turn two. We run a little bit wide, and Leclerc nearly had a look. And now, one lap, two laps later, into the pit of Gasly, have we beat him out? We, we had a decent outlap once we got the tyres up to temperature. As we come down the pit straight, here comes Leclerc with Leclerc in the wall, nearly there, going down the pit straight, and as we go round turn one, there's Gasly, he has come out way ahead of us, the overcut has worked for Gasly, and we do not have any pace to live with him, now this is the McLaren of Lando Norris, and his engine has pops, and that's not very good for us. 
with uh, Mercedes engine, if a customer's engine is gonna pop. Now Leclerc comes back at us now, you can see Gasly's not even in the picture anymore. To the outside goes Leclerc, and now heading down the straight, he's got past us, but we are gonna hold it around the outside, but we can't, but we're gonna do the switchback and a little dummy there, and now go back up his inside, going into turn two, and we keep the position from the Ferrari. So now coming to the end of lap 19 now at Leclerc, we can't shake him off, he's still there. And now, with the overspeed, we are sitting duck as he blows us away. Does Leclerc there, we try and use his slip train with his DRS, and we try and do what we did a couple of laps ago. And he goes back round his inside, he's had a little snap of oversteer, and that's helped us breeze back up his inside and try and keep the position but he's gone back at the inside but he can't get the exit and now going through the castle section and we've pushed these tyres so so hard we're skating now we've just six laps to go this could be very interesting for us as we nearly drop it again these rear tyres are screaming and now round the outside Charles Leclerc tries to go on us we just need to get the Get these to the end now, Leclerc still all over the back of it. This is Leclerc now, once again on board, once again, blazing past us. We're going to try and use this slip stream again. We're going to use all of the track, we've gone very, very wide. And we're going to send it back up the inside. We've made contact and we've put Charles Leclerc in the wall. Charles Leclerc is out of the race. And the safety car is out. And there's going to be big questions over what has just happened here. We've tried, we've sent it late, Leclerc has not given up and he's tagged our rear tyre, we've got him locked and he's just, just driven into the barrier. Let me know what you think of that. This is a view from Yuki Sonoda. This is the decent, it's very late, but still, we, we just have a little kiss with the barrier there on our front wheel. This is George perspective he just just decides to sit behind the retired Ferrari and we've, we've somehow got away with damage there I thought about pitting but look how little laps left there was really no point in pitting even though these tyres are pretty dead so we come to the end of the safety car period there is three laps to go it's the Red Bull 1-2 then headed by Verstappen and he signs his P3 and then it's turned into a good day for Haas as well, P5 and P6, just behind Esmer Ocon and the Alfa Tari, they're having a good day, but we're racing again, but those flags very quickly turn yellow because someone's engine is popped, someone's engine is popped, and it's the Haas, the Haas's engine is popped, that Ferrari engine given up in Oscar Piastri's car, and what was looking very, very handy, for Haas, they're only going to get one car in the points now, potentially. And now, with just two laps to go, we go on to the final lap. Here is Alonso on our outside. But we show him the door around the outside. We go, we... Alonso knows how to back off going into turn one. And now he might be here. done here by the Williams up to the inside here. With two Williams, a side by side there. And now we head up, we've built a little gap on the final lap. It's Mick Schumacher, he's just jumped his teammate. George is in the back there as well. They're side by side. Still, our Albon and Schumacher. It looks like Albon has just got his nose ahead, but he's had a little wobble coming out of that corner. And now it is done. And Mick Schumacher does stay ahead there. As Max Verstappen wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix never really looked challenged Perez comes home for P2, signs P3 and now coming on the back of us is Alonso getting very very close can he beat us on the line he's getting closer, he's getting closer in that slow stream I was looking behind me, I've hit the barrier and we've slides across the track, have we done it? 
so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we've witnessed today. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that he can't help but be delighted by today's race win. So we did get beat by Alonso on the line in the end, you can see how close that was, thousands of a second in it, Max Verstappen wins in what turned out to be a very dramatic end to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, in that final lap had more action than the entire 51 laps in the real Azerbaijan Grand Prix in 2023, Ferrari also getting on the podium, the other Ferrari, we don't need to talk about that. Let me know what you thought about that. Was it my fault? Was it Leclerc's fault? We kind of got a lot of wheels. Leclerc should have done what Alonso did and back out, in my opinion. We sent it to the inside. Okay, very late, but still, things like that can happen. That is really hard to see in the standards after that very good result back in Monaco last time out with that win. Only picking up a point that could dent our title chances possibly. This car is capable of it. It's just about if we can drag it up up there with second in the constructors red bull after that one too storming ahead by 53 points so we head to canada next and we'll be hoping for a much better result than we got here in Baku. but until that one goodbye